Hey guys, William here from fitnessforbackpain.com. Thank you so much for tuning back into another YouTube another YouTube video here on my YouTube channel. Uh, today we are talking about the foam roller. Yes, that's right. Every household by now, it is 2019. If you have not gone to Walmart and spent your $15 on your foam roller, go do it. Just kidding. Today I'm gonna talk about why you need to stop using a foam roller for your low back pain, right? I see this time and time again. If you Google foam rolling for back pain, you get stupid stuff. Like we don't, it's this, the things that are on the internet is just, is just junk. So I'm gonna try to give some light to a very popular topic, which is the foam roller. Now there is some use in the foam roller. You can do some cool stuff with it, a lot of range of motion, maybe some mobility, getting some extension back into your, your thoracic spine from sitting all day. There's some things that I like to do with it, but the majority of people who are using this to relieve and beat low back pain are very confused. I wanna give you the right information so that you can actually work towards beating your chronic pain. So before you jump into this kind of content, you've gotta go over to fitnessforbackpain.com. I've got a video that I'm sharing with everybody for free. It is what I call the yo-yo pain effect. And this is what you do every single day when you decide to go cut the grass, you do that big day of chores, or you're washing your truck, or you go to exercise and you go mountain biking or hiking, whatever you do. This yo-yo pain effect impacts everybody. And all of my students, before I work with them, have to watch this workshop, and I'm giving it to you absolutely free. So if you're looking to exercise pain-free, if you're looking to beat long-term chronic back pain, you've gotta watch this video. And again, I give it to you for free over at fitnessforbackpain.com. So the idea of the foam roller is to break up adhesions. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do air quotes, because adhesions are, eh, yeah, there's some, some research on adhesions and the way the muscle bellies get knotted and tight and stiff. There's, there's some research out there, not a lot, small studies, not huge amounts of content that really puts a pin on anything that really can take us to the next level. It's kind of back and forth. It's gonna go off of clinical research in the sense of what you experience, what I experience as a trainer, what I've used with clients in the past, what I use on myself. That's what it's gonna kinda of come down to. So it'll be one of those things that it could be a good tool in your toolbox to use, but it is not and will never be the cure for low back pain. So I really have two issues when it comes to the foam rolling phenomenon, when it comes to getting long-term relief, right? You've got your short-term relief, you've got your acute relief, and you've got the people who've been dealing with chronic pain for years and years and years, and they've been using this thing for years and years and years because it feels good. Now, if back pain, low back pain, chronic back pain was cured or curable by a $15 piece of foam, it wouldn't be $15, right? Doctors would be selling it all over the place. It would be a huge, huge marketing thing because this is it, this is a cure. Now, what this does offer is short-term feel-good sensations. It does not offer long-term solutions to any kind of chronic pain. And it, which kind of leads me to my next point, or my first point is how complicated low back pain actually is. I mean, the three pillars that I teach and focus on are mind-body connection, core strength, core stability, and movement. If you're not focusing on those three things when it comes to your life, when it comes to being in the gym and exercising and what your program looks like, you're gonna fall short and there's gonna be, you're leaving a lot of solutions on the table when it comes to seeing long-term relief. So the big issue that I have with foam rolling is the, I, this idea of the, us being sold out for this temporary relief, right? So we get on this foam roller, we roll around, we do our upper back, middle back, and then we get into that lower rib, lower back area, and it feels good. Like we suffer and deal every single day with tension, low back aches, tightness, cramping, spasms, all these different things that are floating all around our trunk. And when you put pressure on them, it feels good, which is why massa the massage industry is so huge, because it feels good to be touched and pressed on and get things moving around when it comes to muscle tissue. So this is a cheap way of getting that same sensation to our bodies. The problem that we have is when you jump on this every single day and you're basically just covering up and you're masking a root issue. Now that took me about five years to realize how you know, unimportant the foam roller is in actually beating low back pain, but 
I realized that there's a difference between long-term solutions and long-term strategies and short-term quick results. Now, just like stretching, which I think is absolutely stupid when it comes to low back pain, foam rolling is just as unimportant as stretching is, right? Now, I don't wanna leave you with nothing. I don't wanna say, hey, this is stupid, throw it away. I mean, mine's, mine's beat up, mine needs to be thrown away. If you want to use a foam roller, if you feel like there's some value in this, um, I just don't want you to look at it as the cure or your cure for low back pain. I don't want you to waste 15 minutes a day doing this when you could be wasting and spending or spending, not wasting, but spending 15 minutes a day on something more challenging, more practical when it comes to getting long-term relief. So if you wanna throw these into your schedule or your routine, what I would suggest you do is maybe 10 to 15 minutes on a full body rolling. You're not gonna break up any kind of knots long-term with this thing. So think of it as just getting the body prepped, getting blood flow to the areas of your body, going from the calves all the way to the upper back. You can even do your arms, your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, back. Stay away from your lower back with this thing, but think of it more as just a prep for your workout. That's all this can be and all that it ever will be is just a prep, a body prep for movement. And I can, you can use these in a therapy setting where you're gonna start doing some core training and you're gonna do maybe some body weight exercises and you can jump on the foam roller as a quick type of warm up. Now that doesn't mean to spend an hour on this thing rolling muscles until they're like jello. That's not the whole point because again, you want stability, you want tension in the body and around the joints. So I hope that gives you some light on the foam roller. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell, again, I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the yo-yo pain effect. You've gotta watch that workshop, it's free. You can go get it from fitnessforbackpain.com and I will see you on the next episode.